President Harry S. Truman and Secretary of State Statinius meet at San Francisco to take part in the final ceremonies of the United Nations Conference on International Organization. For nine work-packed weeks, representatives of the 50 member countries have labored in the cause of peace, and the President is here to witness the signing of the new World Security Charter. It's the President's first visit to the Golden Gate, and San Francisco really takes him to her heart. Mr. Truman goes to his Knob Hill headquarters before addressing the peace-loving nations who have welded the document. Based on the Dumbarton Oaks formula and the various talks between Churchill, Stalin, and Franklin Roosevelt. Visiting President Truman is Admiral Nimitz, who receives congratulations on the great string of victories credited to his command in the Pacific, where the cause of peace will be further advanced by the defeat of Japanese aggression. At a history-making session, Britain's Lord Halifax asked for a rising vote of delegation chairman to finally approve the charter as drafted. Everyone present is in full agreement that this document exceeds all expectations. And led by Secretary Statinius, the vote of approval is unanimous. In a special room, surrounded by the flags of the United Nations, China's delegation, headed by their ambassador to England, Dr. Wellington Koo, is the first to sign. The first of 153 signers of these solemn documents. Russian ambassador Alexander Gromyko also approves the charter and the preparatory plan, and is followed by Lord Halifax for Britain. <laughs> Cameramen make a permanent record for history, while Paul Boncourt heads the French delegation. And then the United States group enters, headed by Mr. Statinius, while President Truman beams his approval. Shortly after, Statinius resigned from the State Department and was appointed to carry on this important work for the President. After Senate ratification, he will become United States member of the Security Council. <laughs> Meanwhile, introduced by Secretary Statinius, the President officially ends the conference. The President of the United States of America. The Charter of the United Nations, which you are now signing, is a solid structure upon which we can build for a better world. History will honor you for it. Between the victory in Europe and the final victory in Japan, in this most destructive of all wars, you have won a victory against war itself. If we had had this charter a few years ago, and above all, the will to use it, Millions now dead would be alive if we should falter in the future in our will to use it. Millions now living will surely die. What you have accomplished in, the San, in San Francisco shows how well these lessons of military and economic cooperation have been learned. You have created a great instrument for peace and security and human progress in the world.